Hello guys, I'm Shao King back here once again. So tired of video. How did he power around 1392? Came out yesterday at some time, I guess the I, I, whatever happened, whatever happened. So to explain what happened, uh I might put some snippets in the video, but uh I looked for the chapter, wasn't there, wasn't there. Days go by, wasn't there. I checked the red the chapter's there, so now some might say, well, you recorded an entire video about the review, then uh why not upload it? It's because I got mad and in the frustration I didn't want to uh, edit, edit the video I don't know maybe I thought it was a bad video it just wasn't worth the time of editing the images but uh I might put in some clips of my opinions on the fight but the war fight was trash there, there was no there was no point of it just a waste of two weeks for no reason so and a guy who was never named I'm gonna put some snippets in the video explaining my opinions about that. But overall, the new chapter came out, and uh, hey, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hold on a moment. Overcoming his handicap, Warks takes a sweeping victory. The chapter is called Alpha and Omega. And volume 135 is on sale. And Vork says to himself, My God. And Vork's coach comes in and says, You surprised me. You didn't go for such a forceful exchange. I didn't think you'd go for a forceful exchange right from round one. Did you think you'd be at a disadvantage for trying to take away. Or a disadvantage for trying to point. Did you think you'd be able. You be at a disadvantage for trying for points in a in the anyway match at this rate. At any rate, it was magnificent. And Dwork said it's all thanks to Makanuchi. I'm fine over here, go to him. And Dwork's coach runs. Runs and thinks to himself, uh, uh, my that's that's some, I might it, it might have ended quickly, but I can't be too happy. I have to meet up with Miguel and them. I'm running myself ragged over here. But they're going against Ricardo Martinez. Just how are they feeling? How is that match? How are they feeling? Now that the match is right here. The whole world is going to... The whole world thinks they're going to lose. No. Even they... Even they probably don't think they can win. It was just for experience sake for making memories. This is too much. What faces do they have now? I'm here. You're all ready to go. And while he's just rolling across the floor, he hops, stops. No, 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 he hops and rolls over. Do, do an entire front flip. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, no, a, a front somersault. He lands. And Molly's like, after doing another flip, congratulations, Dan. It's work so strong. And Miguel tells him, it's our turn next. We are your care. And Ford's coach is like, hmm. What a technique warm up. Uh -huh. What a technique. No, no, what a unique warm up. That's my bit. And he says to himself, this atmosphere is making me dizzy. You see McGill's Wally smiling. And Voyage Coach says to himself, these two are both so calm. And he looks at Epo. And he says, Are you okay? As he is depicted with the weight on his back. And now says, and now tonight's name event. And send those coach like, oh, well done there. S no damage. And voice like, thanks really not. And then uh, Sendo coach responds, that's no small feat. And Vorg is right next to Sendo. And somebody says, well, I believe it's Vorg. You can invest it in this. Although that's no wonder. This master fort decides your next opponent after all. What do you want to fight? And Sendo says, obviously. Ricardo, he's the strongest there is, and I've been chasing after him. If I beat him down, it's proof I'm the best in the world. And Void says, I see. Cena says, my goal is Ricardo, plain and simple. Step. And then I says, he's here. The first to make his appearance is a man who flew to the top of the WBA rankings. Wally! For that care, 
for when or where he fights, he's gone to every corner on the planet. The record of a record of 25 fights, 24 wins, one loss, and 20, uh, 19 KOs. He's been able to unify. He's been, yeah, he's been, but being unable to, uh, to verify all those matches, he's truly a Nick Miller man. The words to describe his fighting style is wild and untamed. A primitive hunter from the depths of the jungle. Vork says, wild and untamed, huh? Then Asa continues. His stress comes from a return to the primordial, to the primordial, to, <laughs> to before humanity was touched by civilization. And from this purity known as Alpha. And the crowd's like, huh? Ah. And Wally flips down the steps. The crowd's like, ah, he's jumping from way up there. Ex stupido, your match don't injure don't get injured first. And the crowd's like, he's fine. How many times did he somersault in the mid air? And he stuck the landing too. His movements are crazy down now, so the crowd continues. He's like a monkey. Hey monkey. I believe this is Wally saying this is too so much fun. It's okay for me to run, right? And Miguel says, first come in, first come in here for the match. And that's that's the Selmero brothers. Yeah. When he smacks the fans' hands, he hops onto the tongue buckle, he does another flip. And the announcer says, What incredible jump for Billy. What a spectacular entrance. Wally sticks the landing and he's flipping all over the ring. It's flashing this a match only by wildness. Even inside the rings, he's jumping and rolling all over. The entire, the whole arena, he's dumped on it. Tonight, this man will show, tonight, this man show Mexico. No, he showed the world upset as he sits on top of the turnbuckle. It seems he's finally settled. He's perched himself neatly into the blue corner. His voice goes like, get down. And he goes like, he's fine, he's fine. So he's, he's supposed to be high in the air after all. On the other side, it's to... Question Cola. I, I, I'll butcher that word. It's, it's the Sun God name. It's the Sun God name. The man who's been stole the same name as the God of uh, with the God of, of Gods. With the same name as the Access God of Gods. Ricardo Martinez, our natural treader and the most glorious of champions. Everything. His fist is unleashed in the. His, his, everything that his fist is unleashed is a work of art. In this era. No, the future eras too, there'll be no man who can reach the height he's reached. He's the pinnacle of boxing himself. The crowd says, Ricardo, Ricardo. This, and the continues, this man is truly Omega. In the stark contrast of trilogy, he reproaches the ring quite, <laughs> with quite dignity. And finally, they face off in the ring. Alpha and Omega, the night where the worlds collide. I'm about to say I'm sorry. Uh, I don't feel anything for this chapter. I really don't. And maybe it's a lack of interest in the series. But uh, after that Vork chapter. Uh, I don't know. I think I do myself as soon as I said the writing don't feel the same. And ever since then. Like, when I say I lost all interest in uploading that video last week, I did, especially after that wild goose chase. Like, I didn't find out about the video until, like, until a chapter, until, like, Sunday. Yeah, so, why wasn't the site up there? Why, where I was reading that wasn't updated, I don't know. But in this case, I don't feel anything. Like, there is no hype. There is no excitement. Just... Hey, maybe Mishima Sinner had a point. Don't, don't, don't let your Mac kill off the crowd because I, I just don't feel anything. Just there is no real excitement. There's even with the chapter name Alpha and Omega. Just I'm about to apologize. I'm really am sorry. I just don't feel nothing for this. I really don't. I just don't feel anything at all. I'm sorry. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you guys. I wish I can sit here and be hyped and excited and be juiced up like I was. 
but I can't lie to you. It's just maybe it's chapter 1391 that killed everything. Maybe it's a combination of debt, life problems, I mean, struggling, treading through the web comic, continuing. But uh, maybe it's just a bad combination of things that just got me feeling like this. Maybe it's a bad moment, a, a, a slow start or something like that. But uh, I really don't feel anything. Just the whole debacle last chapter where somehow Vorg. Like, like, it's just like most. It's I explained it all in the other video. I might post this in clips. Was just like, like that. Most of that stuff wasn't even necessary. Just a waste of time, and it's just two weeks of absolutely nothing, in my opinion. The chapter continues. We get all hyped that the Epo supposed to be the cornerman. Vorex Max is finished. On which you're gonna tell me that nobody knew that this man Vorex was injured. Nobody. He didn't even tell his coach, just he just kept it to himself. Vork, of all people, just kept it to himself. Just kept it to himself, just really. Vork just kept everything to himself and just said absolutely nothing. Vork. Him. Maybe it's just me. I don't see why Vor's coach would be so concerned, even if it's Ricardo Martinez or not. Uh, this isn't your first world title match. So, uh, and this is not your first match as a second where there was high stakes either, because you was there for Koagama. So, it's just... And again, maybe it's me just watching talk more all the time, and, and Coach Cool got maybe, maybe it's just a different perspective. Today, but this is, but this is like a world-renowned trainer, right? Like this, this should be such a mind-blowing thing. I don't see why he'd be running himself ragged. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I really don't know. The atmosphere is making him dizzy. Wally's happy. You put with the rock on his back. It's it's. I uh, guess that's supposed to be funny. It, it haven't explained the monkey thing on his back. They haven't explained that or the tail. It's just. So it's just. But hey, at least we got some conversation between Vorg and Sindo after ten thousand years. You know. Uh. Don't really know why Vork wasn't really watching the Alf match because uh, I don't know. Maybe it's this whole mindset that uh, even though they all separate, they kind of still keep it with each other. Like Epo and Miata, Epo would still Miata would still show up. So it's just uh, even Sendo and Epo would still catch up on what Vork was doing when it comes to like a big time match. But uh, Vork was never mentioned doing Epo versus House. All right then. Now, out for Sindo, just nothing. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. Uh. And then, first title defense, the man was a bum. Uh. In a throwaway match, like like this, this match was even meant to be serious in the first place. So, so what, like, what was Vork all concerned for? This this man was a tomato can. Like, like he he literally just got the Rocky Rocky Three treatment. He those those guys were soft, they were cream puffs. They were just made for you to destroy. I thought the first title was supposed to be going against the German opposition, like Sendo, Japanese champion, Epo, his first opponent, Sonata. Even Misha with Kimura, Kimura at least did something. I'm sure, you could say Takamura's first title defense was just a cream buff, but that's. Like a whole joke. That's <sighs> and the entrances just I don't know what to say. Just uh, I think my chapter review is still up for the whole Sendo thing. Where it's just like we, we see a tiger and it's Sendo and, and across from the ring it's the Deaf God Gonzalez and it just got Wally. I don't know. Here's a basic get up. That's you just look really basic. I don't know. I don't know what. 
and uh, he somersault down the steps and they say he's just like a monkey so, so the hotel thing is never going to be addressed uh, alright then because he can easily step on that or just uh, some complication can happen but uh, it's nothing horrible nothing off or anything it's just it's never really addressed. He just kind of has it. And then he lands in a turn. Eh, no, 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 that's not the turn break thing. Then Martinez shows up. Well, I just feel like he had more presence when he fought Billy. I don't know. But I do like that image on page 18 where he enters the ring. And they see the people across from the ring. And hopefully we get some commentary about Ricardo and him seeing Epo once again. Since apparently Epo is uh, hunting his dreams of curiosity. How uh, his name keep coming back up. But uh, besides that, I uh, hope you guys like the video. The chapter, there's, there's no real rating for it. I just think they just didn't care. Just, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of things. Just, I, I don't know. Just, uh. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Cause I don't know what else to say. Just they entered their arena. Just and I look back and it's just like there was there was so much hype for Keith Dragon, like in a similar life scenario, going in between jobs, going through some form of struggle. There's there's like a problem or something. It's just like yeah. It's just like Epo was seeing that. Like, oh, that's one of the few joys in life. One of the things where you look at it and it will consistently be there and be consistently good. Not that everything is perfect, but you know, now it just seems like it's just kind of just there, really. It just doesn't really mean anything anymore. I don't know. Yeah. So if the posters seem re sporadic with the uploading, that would be why. But uh That is why, so if you're in WK, hope you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and uh peace.